have since added football. August. Pops this one foul. Richardson chases it over toward the fence, reaches behind his head and makes the play. Trey Richardson, he's been solid offensively as well, which is why he occupies the three slot, proves it again. Dumps one inside the line in right field. That's going to score Gaither Bumgarner and give the Spartans the lead, and he may dig for three. Lesh will, and the throw will gun him down at third base, but it'll go in the books. On the season, and you just mentioned 9-4 when scoring first. And here's one driven high and deep to left. This one's going to be gone. It's a home run, sixth of the year for Trey Richardson. And as fast as they claim the lead, he doubles it. It's now 2 nothing upstate. On a long ball off the bat of Trey Richardson, and Richardson just continues to show his power night in and night out. And if you have concerns about how healthy he is around Charlotte, here's the 2-2. Called strike three, outside corner. Harris gets set to deliver his first offering to Tyler Miller. Miller taps it right up the middle and through. That's going to score at least one run. They're going to send the trailing runner. The throw home will be cut off, and two more Spartan runs. Have an advantage of four as the payoff pitch is delivered to Bumgarner. Grounded through the right left side, I should say, between short and third. Coming home to score is Miller. So that tells you this is a pretty important series of at-bats for both these teams. And completing the strikeout by throwing down to first base is score to run. Has a chance to have his fingerprints on another, and he will. A solid base knock. Over the head of the second baseman and falling safely into right field for an RBI knock. Bumgardner. Swing and a miss, strike three. Cox takes care of the pinch hitter. And he's two outs away from completing it himself. Here's the 2-2, two -two, swung on miss, strike three. Galello on third, Rayleigh on first. And Charlotte trying to break up the... Shut out of Chris Cox, and here's a liner into right. Miller has it, and the ball game is over. Chris Cox pitches a complete game shutout for the Upstate Spartans. They win it by a score of six to nothing. Chris Cox goes the distance, leading the Upstate Spartans to a 6-0 victory, a complete game shutout. You had to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, first off, I just want to give all the glory to God and um, grateful for the opportunity to come out here and pitch tonight. Uh, you know, I feel like I've underachieved so far this year, so I was glad I was able to step up tonight. Chris, you struck out four, but more often than not tonight, you were trusting the defense behind you. What's it like to have this group of guys playing behind you? Oh, dude, it's great. I love these guys, man. Uh, they're great teammates, uh, great guys off the field, and uh, we're real close, and uh, they have my back tonight, so I appreciate that. You do a lot of work in relief, also some starting. How did you approach tonight coming in knowing that they were going to need a lot of innings out of you to keep everybody ready for the weekend? Um, well, I'm a senior, and uh, you know my back's up against the wall. I haven't thrown like I wanted to this year, like I said earlier, and so I felt like I needed to come out here and step up for my team, and I did that tonight. So We wish you guys the best at Lipscomb this weekend. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, Chris. Chris Cox, main reason this team picks up their fourth win in a row here at Harley Park tonight. Coach, your team picks up their 17th win on the season, and I guess four in a row now. You can call that a streak. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're – uh... We've done some things right the last few days, so, you know, I was, I was real pleased with the effort, you know, the past two days particularly. Chris Cox goes the distance for you. That's got to be huge to keep everybody rested for the weekend series. Yeah, well, I'm happy for Chris. I mean, you know, he's been here for the better part of two years, and, you know, he's been plugging away at it, and, uh, you know, that's, a, you know, hopefully the kind of night that he'll remember forever. So, uh, you know, I wanted him to finish that game badly, and, and he got it done, and, uh, you know, real pleased for him. And I know everybody else is too. Gaither Bumgarner starting to come to life for you, too. He played a nice center field and then was very effective at the plate. Yeah, I mean, he's obviously an important player on our team. We need him to do a lot of different things, and, you know, he showed some of that tonight. And so, uh, you know, hopefully he'll just be able to continue to play to his level. You know, I thought he got off to maybe a little slow start this year, and now he seems to be coming around. So that would be something that could really help us. Coach, this game marked the middle point of the season for your club. How do you assess their progress at the middle portion of the season? 
well, I mean, at least right now we're on an uptick. You know, I mean, I, we started out well, and, and uh, you know, we had a little slide there that, um, you know, I, I didn't think we needed to have. Um, but, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're in it. You know, we're doing some good things. we got a chance to get better. Uh, you know, hopefully we're going the right direction and, and, you know, just, you know, we just got to play out the string, so to speak, and see where, uh, you know, where, where we stand and, you know, how much better can we get. I think if we can improve from here, then we have a chance to have a very good season, uh, you know, so time, time will tell. Your expectations and your communications to the team going into the Lipscomb series this weekend. Well, it's a, you know obviously it's an important weekend. You know, uh, you know we're not we're not where we want to be in the conference standings right now. Um, you know, we've never played particularly well in Nashville, be it at Lipscomb or, or Belmont. So it, it's always a tough trip for us. And uh, you know, but hopefully uh, our starting pitchers will give us a good effort, and you know the guys will continue to swing the bat the way they have the last couple of days, and and uh, you know things things can go our way. I mean, I'm you know looking forward to going up there and seeing what we can do. Thanks, coach. Congratulations on the win tonight. All right, thank you. I appreciate it. You can follow every pitch of the road trip at UpstateSpartans.com. Spartans, keep the train moving with a 6-0 victory against Charlotte.